Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. It's a brand new stream day. I am whew, a little tired. I had a long day today. I, had, I went for a, a hike with a friend. It was like a three hour long hike. And uh, there were a lot of frogs and newts up in, the, uh, up in the woods. And it was a lot of fun. But on the way back, I guess I'm just going to talk about this instead of Gungeon, at least to start the uh, run with. On the way back, it started to rain. And as a result of it raining, I had to ride my motorcycle in the rain going home, and I got soaked head to toe. <laughs> I got home, I stepped inside, and my my shoes are just going squish, squish, squish on the floor because I am just, I, I'm, I'm just covered. I've never been more wet in my life, but you know what? It's a fun day, so I'm not gonna complain. What's our other gun? You know? Here's the thing, if you're gonna give me, yo, don't shoot chests with this gun, if you're gonna give me a mediocre gun, I like getting it as Paradox, because a mediocre gun, early game, can at least be interesting, it can at least be different. Do we ever really use this creature? No! Because this creature is bad, but... At least it's interesting, at least it's weird. Um, I don't know how good this creature is at finding secret rooms. It's got a really strange effect on it. The gun can destroy a chest in two shots. However, the damage per bullet is extremely low, and I don't remember how good this actually is at finding secret rooms. You know, does it do a, a lot of wall damage? Does it has a lot of impact force or something? Like, wh what is the deal? I don't know. But we'll just use it for the time being as a room clear, because why not? Ideally, we pick up another gun before we fight the boss, but if we don't, we don't. We'll just, uh, we'll be stuck with this. Also, I'm trying to figure out what my starting passive is. I actually have no idea. I don't think, did I open the map? I should not open the map, but I may have accidentally opened the map. But I'm, I'm looking at it. We don't have any extra HP, no extra money, no blanks, no keys. We don't have... Uh, a faster run, we don't dodge faster, we haven't gotten any, you know, payouts at the end of a room yet, table flipping doesn't do anything, so I'm, I'm basically taking all bets at this point, but I may have ac- okay, it finds it in one shot. I may have accidentally, um, opened up the map already, but if I did, I didn't look, but I'm gonna open up the map right now. Ammo synthesizer, dude! It's so good! Be sure to check for mimics with this creature. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Dude, ammo synth is actually pretty good. And it, it will, you know, give us a lot of ammo back whenever we get it to activate with this creature, so that's pretty decent. Oh. Motorcycle riding in the rain defies the concept of wetness. You feel soaked all the way through to your soul. It was definitely an experience. I will say, though, it was extremely refreshing to just be covered in water, <laughs> top to bottom. Uh, it was very fun. Magic sweet. Love it. All right, we are not going to open up the other chest. The other chest is going to have a gun in it. However, I don't really want to lose my oubliette chances, and we will try to use this creature on Trigger Twins here. I I'm thinking maybe because of the fact that it does technically piercing shots, it might be good at killing the bulletkins that spawn in, maybe doing decent damage to the uh, Trigger Twins themselves. Problem right now is range. It having such a poor range is making it hard to actually um, use it properly. But we got one. Magic Sweet definitely helping out a little bit. It's a very minor shit. It's a very minor speed increase, but uh, <laughs> you know it's helping me make those dodges. I, I took damage in a very stupid fashion. That is that is horrible. That is dumb. B U M B dumb. But that's okay. You know, if I'm gonna get hit in a boss, it's at, least, it's at least it's Trigger Twins. F. F it up! F it! 
Let's go down to the oubliette. Why not? We have a couple of extra chests that had... Well, we have two chests that we have not done anything with. Unfortunately, that means we're not going to get a gun. But, you know, we've got the Screecher. Screecher, Screecher, Screecher! Ah! There should be a synergy of the Screecher that plays... Um, screaming sound effects from various media properties, like Wilhelm Scream, um, maybe uh, from that scene from Aliens with Vasquez going, let's rock, yeah! Brr, brr, brr. You know, just have different scream effects being played when you use this creature. Or maybe it's just like a woman, sh like a banshee sh uh, sh shriek over and over again. Ah! <laughs> That would be pretty cool. And by pretty cool, I mean it would certainly make this gun even worse than it is right now, but it would be fun. E. Sometimes. Occasionally. I suppose. But we'll keep using it, because why not? Excalibur, you've honestly forgotten how, to, how it feels to play non-turbo. I played a non-turbo mode once and I hated it. Everything just felt slow. I'm not gonna say it was easy, because I think I took more damage on that run than I have on many turbo mode runs, but it, it was slow. And everything felt like it was in slow motion, and I, I missed the faster paced action of turbo mode, I really did. I miss having to think on the fly and having to make trickier dodges and whatnot. Okay, I also have a question. Does this gun do less damage on a pierce? The answer is yes, it does. Just wanted to check. I mean, you know, I don't really use this creature that often. I don't understand this gun works. I don't even know why sometimes it, it stuns, but the stunning is extremely infrequent. You know, if you're going to make a bad gun, make it stun more often. Or is that too much? Is that too powerful? Uh, luck. I want strong guns, and I cannot lie. This gun gives me what I cannot deny. It's like a, is that a Sir Mix-a-Lot but done by William Shatner? I like big butts, and I cannot lie. It's like the game was designed from the ground up to be in turbo. I, well, I mean, that's definitely not true, but I also feel like that's not necessarily the case. I feel like I just prefer the faster play style because I'm so familiar with the game. Obviously, if I was not as comfortable playing Gungeon, I would prefer a slower run, which is perfectly okay if you if you like a slower-paced adventure in the Gungeon. But for me, personally, I like the speed. I got a need. A need for guns. I fell into a pit. Does this creature have any synergies? Yeah, I think it has like a triple shot synergy, but I don't know what it synergizes with. <clears throat> Here's an idea for a challenge run. Non-turbo, bloody eye liquid Valkyrie, and dodge roll-ups. Nah, if anything, it would be dodge roll down. It would be super slow motion. In fact, why not just make a, a mode where the entire run is like 20% speed. It's super slow motion. Here's the thing. That would mess with people. People will get hit on a run like that because they won't be able to dodge properly. You know, they'll be anticipating shots coming in at a certain velocity, and the shots will be so slow that they will take damage. I'm telling you, it would work! I don't know if it'll be any fun, but it would work as a challenge mode run. Hmm, we'll wait. I have a tendency to snap by things, but we are going to... Careful, we're gonna wait, because if we wait, maybe we'll find another shop. But I will definitely buy the Flash Ray if we have nothing else, because Flash Ray is good. Flash Ray is borderline adequate. And with synergies, the Flash Ray is pretty cool as well. Especially because it synergizes with the camera, and I love the camera. Dodge roll down wouldn't be too bad since you would get more iframes. Except, it's not just about the iframes. When you finish your dodge roll, for a, a, a subtle moment, you actually can't... Um, move and you're vulnerable to damage you know if you're at the end of your dodge roll and you land and you land in a bullet you're gonna get hit so it still does work to slow things down because you're still gonna mess up your dodges and take damage I think it I think it works fine um, let's do a quick 
secret room check. I think I've already looked, but just in case. All right. Uh, it's not going to be in the shop. Could be here. Could be here. You know what? It actually could be left. It is not. Could be left of this room. Nope. I burn flash ray ammo way too fast, but ammo sent. Flash ray is... It's actually pretty ammo efficient, but it does... It doesn't necessitate an accuracy upgrade, but it does benefit heavily from an accuracy upgrade. I'm going to also open up these two chests. Shadow Bullets is wonderful. And we're going to get a gun, which is the Siren. Acceptable. Especially if you get the Bionic Leg that gives you the ability to see what's in a chest before you open it. But you know, we, we've been, how many times have we been in this exact situation where we get Flash Ray and when, then we fight Blobby Lord and then I say to everyone, you know what, Flash Ray, even the accuracy downgrade is not that big of a deal on a large enemy like Blobby Lord. You know, we've used 50 ammo for a third of the HP. That's 150 ammo for a Blobby Lord. That's not too bad. Admittedly, I don't know if I'm getting Shadow Bullets out of it. Because if we're getting a Shadow Bullet, it might be directly on top of the original Laser Beam. Like, I'm looking at the HP bar, and I don't notice it going down in large ticks. So it, it could be possible that we're not getting Shadow Bullets out of this. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, can a shadow really exist in a flash? <laughs> uh, but, it, that doesn't matter too much. The gun is doing acceptably. Siren also gives you immunity to stuff when you're holding it. That's true. Immunity to, to pits and immunity to poison? I don't think you're immune to fire, but get out of here. I don't think you're actually immune to fire, but you might be. I know you're immune to poison, though. Um, we're not doing anything on this floor. Let's buy, not buy, we're just gonna snag the old crest and get the hell out of here. I will randomly blank, though. Just in case we can find ourselves a secret room. I don't think it's gonna be in this room. Uh, you know, it could be down here, although it's actually very easy to check, so let's not waste the blank. Dude, there's no secret room. You know what? Let's check. Whoops. <laughs> whoops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. 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 Alright, get me out of here. I'll flash ray it. Actually, we should probably siren on the next floor. Uh, hey, get the old crest, please. Hey, yo, hey. Doesn't give you immunity to floor traps? Nah. Pits, poison, and Apache Thunder says fire. But I don't, I don't know if it is fire, but... Yeah, I almost forgot the crest. <laughs> I was too busy looking for the secret room. Oh, Lord. Um... Okay. We good? We good. For a moment, I thought you were going to go all scientific on the shadow bullet flash ray question by pausing the game to try to see if you could spot the flash's shadow. If we were going to pause the game, just give myself, um... Super Hot Watch, you could probably see the shadow bullet being created. Because Super Hot Watch makes uh, quick projectile beams that are not actually hit scan, they just travel very, very quickly like flash ray. It makes them very weird. Stop running. So if anything, that would be an opportunity to test it by, um... I'm holding the siren! We've done it! <laughs> siren OP! If in doubt, Whoa, well, I can't shoot my gun! I gotta reload it! 
<laughs> uh, what are we doing? Did I look in the elevator room? Exit elevator? Yeah, I did. Entrance elevator? It never shows up in the entrance. Literally zero chance. At least I know we're getting shadow bullets out of this. Heart attack. Well, you all thought I was gonna take some damage by rolling into a pit? Nah! This ain't my first rodeo. But I did fall into a pit accidentally. <laughs> oh god! We are faster than you. Thank you, speed upgrade. He keeps teleporting when I shoot him. How rude. What's doing that? Siren makes you immune to... Uh, Siren makes you immune to damage from falling into a pit. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you, you're a siren, you like jump out of the pit or something because of your mermaid tail or because sirens are... Do, Sirens in the Witcher universe can fly, but I don't know. There's probably some logic to why Siren protects you from pits, but it does, so. Bum, 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 HP. Let's take ammo for the flash ray. I know we started with the Screecher, and it is an interesting gun because it is something that we don't use that often, but really, let's be honest, it's bad. We don't need to worry about it. Apache Thunder, you've seen secret rooms, but only in modded weird runs where you've messed up the level generation? Well, that would explain it now, wouldn't it? With the vanilla level generation, you can't get secret rooms in entrance rooms. You also cannot get secret rooms after the old crest drop-off. You also cannot get secret rooms after the, um, or in this room, in the boss for your, for your room. You also cannot get secret rooms in a cell creep that appears in chamber four, etc., etc., etc. There, There's conditions. And certain rooms can't have secret rooms in them. Um, there's one room in particular on the Oubliette. It's the room that has a big mushroom that spawns in the middle sometimes, and in four corners there are pits, and in the middle of the pit is a sniper in each corner. That room cannot have a secret room because the top and the bottom rooms, or, or the top and the bottom walls are gonna be the entrance and exit to the room, and there can't be anything else after that. So there you go. I forget, how does bullet time work for enemies that spawn in? Does it work correctly or not correctly? I forget, and I forget because of the way that every freaking item in this game treats things differently. <laughs> you know, like, does this have an AOE on it technically? Does this, oh, nah. Does this item uh, only affect AI actors that appear on the screen, like, how, how does this function again? I forgot, yo, what is this? Double dueling laser? Banshee cry, ah, this is probably triple shot with the screecher. So if we get ammo, I will take am an ammo drop for it now, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Let's also use battery gun, because it's low. Screecher would be very good against these missiles, by the way. I think it would probably kill them all in one shot. But we do not have it charged. Should have it now. Yep. So this is one of the funny slowdown items. And I say funny in that, um, Enemies that don't actually spawn on the screen won't spawn correctly if you have the time slowdown active. When an enemy dies, their bullets will go back to normal speed, etc., etc. This is this is one of the funny slowdown items. And hey, it's... What did I say? There's a triple shot synergy somewhere in this creature, and uh, we, we picked it up. 
There are shadow bullets working. You can kind of see them. Uh, apparently my phone is ringing. I will talk to you later. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we got our, our triple shot synergy. Nice. I oh, should have answered and said, look, I'm busy, but I can't. I'm busy. Uh, now, I am a little bit confused as to where we left off, but I guess we're just going down to the next floor. There is no ammo. Well, I mean, we literally just picked up ammo. We don't need to pick up any more ammo. Let's get the hell out of here. Bum, 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 bum. Look, Mom, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm at work, Mom. Yo, if I could if I could do this as like a full-time gig, I would love to. We're not quite there yet. We're getting there. That's a priest. We're getting there. We're just not quite there yet. All thanks to the help of viewers like you. I don't know why I used a blank there. That was completely unnecessary. It's not like we haven't taken damage on the run. I should have definitely just, uh, you know, done my poor dodge roll and taken the damage, because I would like to go to the secret rooms on this floor. Oh, hello. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my jammed gun nut friend. Dude, the AoE on it is really good. Unfortunately, the gun itself is pretty horrible. <laughs> but, you know, with the triple shot, it's it's better. It's definitely better. Test fire immunity siren. That's a good point. We'll do it. Next time I find one. Hmm. I will say it does seem like we're getting more uh, stunning, which is really nice. That was a dumb dodge roll. That was also a dumb use of the uh, the gun. The dueling laser, it was unnecessary because I still, I, like I had the AOE damage with the Screecher and I had to kill one of the Bulletkins in the middle because I missed him, so I should have just used the gun. Screecher looks like it can peel potatoes. This? <laughs> the bullets from it? It's not one fish, two fish, it's Siren's sidearm. The Siren and the barrel shoot bullets from the other versions of the guns. That's pretty cool. Um, do we want the decoy? Dude, I really want the decoy. What does it synergize with? Cage Bunchin. Oh, you make a decoy that moves around and shoots, right? That's pretty cool, but I'm gonna stick with the slow down time because I really like slow down time and I really wanna steal but we're just gonna keep the uh, the bullet time item because I like bullet time. It's a fun item. It's a fun item because you can just, you know, slow down time and then walk around the boss's attacks and he's like, ha ha, you can't hit me, son of a gun. I suppose what we should have done is um, go to the shop first and then open chests. There's a lot of rules like that in Gungeon. And I, you know, tend to act a little bit hastily. We wouldn't have stolen anything anyways from the f floor, but you know, you should probably do your exploration before you open up any chests because you never know if you're gonna wanna sell something to a, a, a cell creep. You don't know if you're going to want to uh, steal if you have an item that lets you steal. If you're not holding onto the active item forever, you might want to you know, save your money or keys if you find a key shop. I should really start to do that more often, but I do not follow my own advice. Do as I say, not as I do. I can say that. I've I've got 1,800 hours in, the, hours in this game. <laughs> you know, I take shortcuts sometimes, <laughs> and I shouldn't. Um... It's weird that the Shadow Clone synergy still exists with the Shadow Clone item existing. What do you mean it's weird that the Shadow Clone item exists? You mean it's weird that that synergy exists when you have the, um... I forget what the name of the item is, but the item that gives you basically the same effect of that? I think it's still pretty cool. 
because maybe you don't have that Shadow Clone item and you still want to make a copy of yourself that shoots. And here's the thing. If you want to steal, and if that synergy doesn't let you steal, steal, you can still steal. You just have to drop your synergy and then steal. So it's not like it's, it even prevents you from doing that. You just have to remember to do it, really. I should probably actually start using the active item a little bit more frequently. I'm just holding on to it for boss fights mostly, but that that is a little less fun. It's fun for me, because it's a good gun. Gun? <laughs> good item. <laughs> oh, I'm out of blanks. That's okay. Dude, screw branches. Um, let's keep moving on. Grab you, and you know what? Actually, grab the barrel. This is gonna be a really good room clearing gun. Because I really like the barrel in the normal cir circumstances. So we came down to the floor, we opened up nothing, we got a bonus chest drop. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's fight and it's fight you now. So You know what? Someone said that Siren makes you immune to fire. Seems like a uh, good gun to test us out with, because if we can become immune to fire, then we don't have to worry about the uh, fire pool spreading. Just in case. <laughs> Dude, the sound effects in this game are so good. Why did I think Spacebar would protect me? I would need to hit Spacebar way earlier than that for it to actually save me. <laughs> I suppose I hit Spacebar because I had no more blanks remaining and I didn't realize it, or I didn't remember that until just right now, huh? Yo. 360 no scope. Aim for Saken to Forsaking an item stealing item with a cool synergy. It's not that cool, we've seen it before. It's not like it's new. Magic lamp. Triple shot? Yep. Sweetness and light. Lots of triple shot synergies. Um let's open up this brand new blue chest. It's the Winchester. Triple shot synergy? No? Okay, well. Can't win them all. Are we gonna buy anything? Nope, alien sidearm is not worth it. We do need one more blank. Good opportunity to test. Siren, save me from fire until I really want you to light me on fire, in which case, don't save me from fire. Need to find a... Need to find one of those braziers. Where's my barbecue pits? How far back am I gonna have to roll to find a freaking barbecue pit? Oh my lord. Does make you immune to fire. There you go. Now I think that the fire goes out after a while. Yeah. But we might be able to teleport while on fire. And if we teleport while on fire, we might be able to make it to the other room. It might cost us a little bit of HP, though. Yeah, well, it, it cost us two hits. And there's two armor back. And then we got nothing out of it. Oops. Oops, only armor. Well, still worth doing. Didn't get anything out of it. Oh well. All right. Nothing out of the chests. We have a gun muncher. I actually don't really feel like gun munching anything. Everything that we have is like halfway decent. So we're just gonna hold on to it. Don't panic, just play normally. You're about to unlock the robot. Ah, Link the Fox. Well, just don't die. But most importantly, don't drop the TV. Or I'm, I should say, just don't forget it. You can drop it, just don't forget it. Let's do barrel 
dueling laser. I love the barrel. The barrel is a great gun. Good damage and shoots these cute little fishies out to boot. Cute and delicious. <laughs> the best combination. Why are my fish getting stopped by something? Like I don't understand what's actually happening there. It's like my fish were, were getting stopped by an obstacle I couldn't see. Yeah, this is good enough. And if we get lots of payouts out of the uh, ammo recovery, we might be able to stay at not full ammo with the barrel, but a lot of ammo. Enough ammo to be happy with. Dude, what the hell? Prototype Railgun Gungeon Ant Gun Knight Armor. A. B. C. That's incredible. And there's a vampire lady. We can get a lot of money on this floor. I love it. I will also say, prototype railgun, what? I have to remember that, you know, they changed the quality of rooms or the quality of items that can spawn in a shop. It used to not take A tier items until you hit the forge. But now A tier item, items can appear in Bellow Shop. I don't think S tiers can, but A tiers definitely. All right, plenty of ammo now. And I'm happy for that change, because we can get some cool, interesting items appear in shops now. Which makes stealing all the better. Oh wait, I got rid of the decoy. Oh no, oh no, no decoy. I steal. Oh. Cute and delicious, that's how I describe myself. <laughs> Only if it's whole milk. Milk jug. Cause uh I'm I'm not I'm not in for the the skim milk for the one percent, the two percent, nah. <laughs> Full fat Full-bodied milk, that's what I need in my life. All right, we should, yeah, it's getting a little creepy there. <laughs> Yo, I've been pretty bad about actually finding the secret rooms, it feels like. Not not on this run necessarily, because we found a couple, but on recent runs, it definitely feels like secret rooms have been a little harder to come by. Unless you find a map, and then you find a second secret room above a shop that has a old man, and the old man gives you... I don't remember what the old man gave us. It was not important is what it was. It was a gun on a previous run in the gun gin. Could be a secret room in here. Nah, okay. I don't, I don't mind using the blank to try to find it. Now, are we gonna use the rail gun? Pff, heck no! We're gonna use the lamp. Are you hearing that sound? That is amazing. I wanna know what filters they're using on this because it just sounds so cool. I know I say that every single time we have this item, but it's true! We're gonna go pretty low here. Yup. 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 I wish there was a boss fight with Bello, says he the beast. Yeah, um, you know, I, I do as well. I wish there was more hidden boss fights. I hear that in Exit the Gungeon they added Glocktopus, <laughs> which was a very cool thing. I haven't seen it yet, because I don't know if I want to spoil myself on Exit the Gungeon, because I 
I'm never going to play it, I don't think, because I can't, but I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Maybe maybe if I if I don't spoil myself, if it gets a PC release in like a year when their exclusivity deal runs out, thanks Dodge Roll, um, I'll be able to actually play it, but who knows. Alright, we're going to go lower, why not? But more boss fights would be kind of cool. TSM Exit the Gungeon is a Gungeon branded game on the new Apple Arcade game service store thing. Just something made by Dodge Roll, because they were contracted to do it. Um, we're going to open up the other chest. We're going to then open up this one. Helix! Helix! One fish, two fish, <gasps> red fish, blue fish. Also, um, yes, please. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my lord. Yes. Disposable account, disposable account, I do agree. That looks dope. So now one fish, two fish, two fish. Um, oh, we lost the siren synergy. It's not firing siren shots anymore. That's unfortunate. We do have this really weird looking screecher, which is actually kind of cool though. We also have the map. Oh, that's, that's not Unity. I make that mistake every frickin' time. I, I, I confuse Unity and Cartographer's Ring every single run. I should remember though, Cartographer's Ring has a planet on it. <laughs> but for some reason, that doesn't do it for me. You wanna know why? Because I see that and I think to myself, ah, Unity, Captain Planet, of course. Planet gun or planet item, planet ring. Nope, apparently not. Jeez, if only they could make it clearer or something. <sighs> Actually. <laughs> um, what were we using? We're using si uh, using barrel, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and screecher, which is now infused with the dark power. I didn't even see you. Here, have some, have, have some cursed fish. I will say there are use cases for Screecher, even if you don't have anything that makes it really good. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you are going up against red mages, Screecher, any beam weapon, laser rifle, rail gun, prototype rail gun. There are weapons that they cannot absorb the shots of. Use them. Hey, MSV Cole, how goes the run? I'm seeing Helix Bullets, the Screamer Gun, and lots of empty heart containers, so that's probably a good sign. <laughs> you know it! Oh no! The gun dead! They're after me. Sorry, I should be screaming. With curse bullets, you can see more clearly the shadow bullet shots. Actually, that's more like, um, because of helix bullets, you can see them. Because the uh, shadow bullet shots that you get are going straight, they're not curving. So it actually makes it easier to see from that regard if you can actually see them. Because th they are pretty hard to see, you know. Bitrate's not that high. You got away. Prepared, prepare to be screeched. Prepare to be screeched. Oh. 
It sounds like a... I don't know. I was gonna make a... Isn't there a character called Screech from like Saved by the Bell or something? Never actually seen the show, so I, I don't know. Did that guy also make a, a like porno with someone called Get like Get Screeched or something like that? I don't freaking remember. It's been a long time. Bionic leg, yes. I forget exactly what the synergy is. This might be the one that gives us a familiar that shows us what's what's inside of chests. It is. This is the Deckard. Um, yes? This is also Kill Pillars. It's also a secret room right here for some reason, so I'm gonna actually, you know, pop that right now. Screech is nuts. <laughs> Good to know. Everybody's nuts, though, these days. Let's keep using Screecher. Let's keep using the one fish, two fish. All right. Maybe not in this room. I'm, you know, I, I played a lot of Gungeon. In that room, I'm still a little uncomfortable going quickly around the bullets. <laughs> I'm still uncomfortable around bullet traps. I should be. Thanks. I should be fine, but it's still a little uncomfortable. What is this? This is hot lead? Dude, I want hot lead. Fuck! Maybe next floor. All right, Deckard, and you know what? Deckard's creature, let's do it. Now, will time slow work against these guys. I have no idea. It, st it slows their movement and bullets, but not their attack patterns. Okay. Dude, honestly? That seems pretty good. F for hot lead, Nia. Uh, F for hot lead, but... Hello, frost bullets. Um, yes? Frosty the Bullet Tyrant. We have snowball at snowballs. You see this? The snowballs are getting larger. I love it. Um, let's pop some random blanks. We don't know where the secret room is. Even though we have Unity, Unity does, does not show you secret rooms. Uh, we did find one, but there's no guarantee that this is going to be the only secret room. It probably is, but there's no guarantee of that. So I'm just gonna blank randomly, and then we will go... Honestly, let's go to RNG department. I feel like it. I feel up for it. Ugh. Drop. 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 Should have saved the junk, because I'm just gonna be dumping the uh, Gungeon Ant a little too little too late, even if it synergizes Winchester is unnecessary. Mm. Alright. Let's go. I love it. I hate how effing lucky he is. What, getting frost bullets plus snow bullets? <laughs> That was one cool mimic. <laughs> I like that one. Um, what do we want? One fish, two fish. And Screecher. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys. Uh, pardon my sounds. Weak, I control all that you see and hear. I control the high pitch and the low pitch. Splay <laughs> chunk, you got junkin' on your current run, nice. Make sure you junk every single chest, and if you don't, you're a coward. You 
tried to shoot me. That's extremely rude. They dead? They dead. I have to keep reloading this. I don't know why I didn't see him. Uh, I gotta keep reloading this gun because the Screecher is slowly getting kills and recovering a little bit of ammo. So every time I reload it, that's when it got a payout. I mean, that's not the only time it got a payout, but that's when I noticed it. And I'm like, we should probably reload. Or I run out of ammo and it's like, hey, you gotta reload. Dude, honestly? I know we have a, a synergy making this possible, plus high damage, but... The Screecher is holding it down. Now, I think I will kill this guy with fishes, though. Nah, we should kill him with Screecher. <laughs> Boss killer. Boss killer extraordinaire! Probably try to, you know, stop taking damage, too. Should also let him do his intro at some point. Uh, I haven't had him do his intro in like a million years. I just walked into that bullet. Die, maggot! Die, die, die! I'm out of ammo. I'm an effing coward. <laughs> you did. You didn't get all of your junk. Oh, that's unfortunate. You got to get infinite junk. That's how you get strong. I'm not a coward. I'll open the chest. I'll get two out of four pieces of Gun Knight and then get a third piece on the shop and then never get another Gun Knight piece for another four runs. Because that's how it works, isn't it? Isn't it? I will say, I love having damage combined with the... Uh... Dude, I need Deckard on this room. Uh, I love having damage combined with the, uh... One gun. What is the name of it? Glass cannon. I had to think about it. I had to think about it for like 16 minutes. Uh, because a brain does not hold on to information all, for all, all that long, but... We, we did it. We solved the problem. We solved the riddle of the Sphinx. <laughs> it's like, spawn, kill. Spawn, kill. <laughs> Such a delay on those guys, I love it. Dude, I love the Deckard we got here. Because the Deckard is basically freezing enemies in one shot. It's doing a lot of damage. We're getting multiple explosions out of it. And the damage is pretty good, too. We have damage upgrades, although they're not affecting the explosion output, but... Oh, God. Right? That's the thing you gotta worry about, is that when you kill an enemy, their bullets will speed up. Shouldn't forget though, you know, our other bullets are exploding as well, not just Deckard. Deckard! I gotta buy Helix bullets, I just realized. Yoink! <laughs> You, go back to you, good. Double, double helix. What's the DPS on the upgraded snowballer? It's not a, um, a synergy snowballer, it's just getting snowball it effects. The bullets are getting larger as time goes on, and I don't really understand how that actually affects your damage anyways. As far as I understand it, it's always a damage upgrade. But, I, like, how much of a damage upgrade? It, it, what? How long does a bullet have to go in the air, or how far does it have to travel for it to get double damage, you know? That's something I do not know. Okay. 
D-pad. Yes, please. What does the turkey do? Bloody Q Grim Turkey gives you ammo back when you hit an enemy. So Turkey could allow us to not have infinite ammo, but combined with the ammo synthesizer, we, we can probably have enough ammo to never worry about ammo again. Although again, you know, if I said I didn't understand how the um, snowball it effect works, I also do not understand how Turkey works with things like Scattershot and Helix Bullets. Do you only get the ammo refund when both projectiles impact or all projectiles impact, or will you get a refund if any projectile impacts? Because if that's the case, we might have like actually nearly infinite ammo right now. And I say that because, I mean, even look at, look at the D-pad. It's broken, it's not even firing to the left. Obviously the game has issues with multiple bullets being spawned from a gun, you know? So pardon me for believing that there might be a little bit of finicky rule application on certain bullet effects, okay? Wow. You're gonna give me Gun Knight freaking Greaves. It's not even Gun Knight Greaves, it's uh, Heavy Boots. Which I guess is better, even though it doesn't feel like it. We're done with the floor. That was a that was an incredibly quick floor. Uh, I will say we're not gonna buy anything else. Yep. So I'm going to use the D-pad on the next floor to get as high of a chance as possible at getting a high quality item. And let's fight the dragon. Use siren. Why? Turkey Baby Good Mimic, you can definitely turkey the Baby Good Mimic, or Baby Good Mimic the turkey, or whatever you want. Alright, hate this, just made life harder on myself. I was not that high! I'll use Siren though. Actually, this is better range. No, this gun. D-pad chest heart. You know, if I said I didn't understand snowball at damage upgrade, if I said I don't understand how helix bullet, scatter shot, or turkey, or Amazon, not Amazon size, or turkey, or zombie bullets work, I also don't understand how D pad functions when it gives you a chest. Will it give you a higher quality chest later in your run? Will we have an equal chance of a black chest from this floor as we will on bullet hell? You know, because if we have a higher chance of a higher quality chest on bullet hell, I would want to save it for that floor. I don't know. Splay Chunk says, I got chamber and coup, and now I have the jammed king. What is coup? <laughs> coup, coup, coup. Okay, owl. Okay, Hootomatic. At least now you can walk on ice. That's a very good point. It means that the Deckard is not quite as bad, even though it wasn't really bad from that perspective, because it's it's freezing the enemies, and if I'm freezing the enemies, I usually don't have to dodge over the ice that I'm creating, but that is technically better. Bum 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 I don't know why all of a sudden I have the <laughs> uh we shop music stuck in my head. I don't know why I thought about that all of a sudden. Uh that's weird. Oh come on! I'm not even gonna pick it up out of frickin' principle, okay? No! No! You can't do this to me! God damn it! <laughs> F 
every time. I gotta like remove that item from my game or something. It's so bad, I hate it. It's not even that it's bad, it's just so common because it's, br it's bugged is what it is. You know what? People are, are giving me different opinions on Exit the Gungeon, it being a, you know, Apple exclusive, all that good stuff. How about we get Dodge Roll to continue working on Gungeon and fix the GD bugs in it? <laughs> I will give you two dollars to take it. Give me the give me the bits and I will uh, give it to myself with mod the Gungeon. That that's the deal. Or not not even bits. You can you can donate. Give me two dollars and I'll take it. I know it'll summon LJ. I'll, I I I will live with that for two bucks. <laughs> that's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Where's my Screecher? There it is. Screech these boys, please. I like the occasional freezing shot. It looks really cool. I know that this is inefficient. I'm looking at it. Like, I'm, I'm watching the bullets move. It's very pretty. Um, let us... Take ammo for the Helix gun. <laughs> After all that, I sound so disappointed. Yo, how does how does no 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 how does um vertebrae K work with Helix? It works well. Works very well. The homing still works. I will give bits for you to finish or to take finished gun. Show, show me the bits. I'm seeing all talk, no action. Is that like a meme thing? If it is, I don't understand it. <laughs> oh crap, I used the item incorrectly. It's gonna take a million years for the enemies to respawn. Or to spawn in, I should say. It's gonna kill you. Yeah, I know the rat got the item. I just never take it anymore because it's just so common, finished gun. You know, it, it's like, it's the same, or it's the opposite principle as Gunther. You know how often I get Gunther? I get Gunther like once every three months, okay? You know how often I get finished gun? I've gotten it once every day. I don't care about finished gun. It's lost its appeal to me because it is stupidly bugged and unfinished gun apparently still acts as finished gun so unfinished gun spawns from all the brown chests we get ah this is a good opportunity for this actually it, this works as well i know that the enemies spawn in slowly but that actually that actually is helpful we want the enemies to spawn in slowly so we can deal with the books first so in that situation, you know, we definitely helped ourselves by using the uh, active item. The bullet time. It is time for the bullets to take over the world. Got him. Oh, he's never gonna get it. Oh, he did get a chance to shoot. Shows what I know. Can I fly? No. I have to have Siren to not take damage from a pit. I had to remember, because I had forgotten. What guns are we using? <laughs> right, we're using Deckard for freezing. We're using uh, Screecher. Let's get those guns out. Let's have some fun. Not that good in the hallway, but that's okay. Oh god. Dun 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 dun. 
Even I know that song, and I have never owned a Wii. Oh my lord! Ding ling 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 ling! Got him! Do 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 do! I didn't take it anyways. No one's no one's uh. You know, all talk, no action. No one's, no one's giving me, giving me my two bucks, so we're not taking finished gun ever again. Th this was your one chance to get me to take this gun before I, I blacklist it forever. It's, it's, it's been done. Finished gun will no longer ever be taken on any run of Enter the Gungeon. I guarantee, I personally guarantee that I will not forget this at all. <laughs> It'll never even show up on a on a BCDD twenty run. Never. Gay run teed. He think you dodge roll. Look for the pits. Sc Screecher Litchy Trigger Finger when. I guess some some. Rate of fire increases would still work. Um, I think there is like a rate of fire cap on certain weapons. On non beam weapons, there is a cap of like one bullet per frame or something like that. But you know, this this thing does not fire 60 bullets per second, so we should be able to get a few damage or a few rate of fire increases to affect it. I don't see that being a problem. Gotcha. Oh my god, we've done it. That was the longest bullet hell I have done in a long time. I'll only believe this guarantee once you add new emotes. I did! They just have to be approved. Which will probably happen on a Monday, because I, I don't think Twitch does emote approving on a weekend. Oh well. It's been clipped and saved? Okay. Now it's a promise. Now it's a true promise. It exists on the internet. That means it's true. And you all know you can believe everything you hear on the internet. Helix gun? Okay. Helix go gun. I don't have a go gun. I do have a gun. He's got a gun! He's got a ba bomb! Maybe that's the dodge. If you go all the way up there to the corner, maybe you'll never get hit. Dude, we're outputting a lot of damage. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, we need uh, cool sound effects. This is not cool sound effects. This is cool sound effects. I also need to uh, like quickly cycle through all my guns. For no reason. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping I can uh, break the game audio system and just have it like play the exit song in slow motion. Enter the gungeon. Enter the gungeon. But it's not working. Or at least I don't have time to kill the lich because you gotta, you gotta wait for the animation to finish and then you gotta pull the trigger. You gotta hold it. You gotta wait. Still a fun run. Good items, good synergies, lots of damage. Ammo synthesizer, ammo was not a problem at all. Screecher was actually good. Synergies, turkey. 
any run in which you get a turkey is gonna be a good run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.